Here's every piece of software that you need to build your real estate investing empire packed into a 10 minute session. I'm gonna give you all the ones that we use plus some more. So get your pen and pad out, take some notes. It's gonna be a good one. We're gonna kick the session off with our weekly giveaway, 25 free copies of the legendary rental property calculator or anything else from the Ace Toolkit store. You're gonna to get to that toolkit store using that link floating over my head or the link in bio. It's first come, first serve. So get there quick. They go fast. And if you don't get it, the coupon code's already expired by the time you get there. Just buy the calculator. It's 45 bucks. If you need one, it's worth it. Trust me. But anyways, the code is all lowercase, tools of the trade, one word, tools of the trade. No spaces, all lowercase. You know how to spell it. Uh, the code is not good for the, uh, the virtual investors guide. That's our course. It teaches you our entire process to go out and acquire properties out of state. If you're serious about that, it's the cost of a home inspection. It's obviously worthwhile. You'll probably jump on it and you don't need a freebie to justify the value of it. And if you need the freebie, then you probably don't want to bother with it. Trust me, it's not worth it. Anyways, I'm done plugging, except for, I think you can get there through this link floating over my head too, um, or the link in bio as well. But let's move on to the actual session today. And sorry, my voice is shot. Um, I sat courtside this week at a ball game and I was yelling my ass off. Uh, it, was, it was an emotional roller coaster. So yeah, my voice is still gone from a couple nights ago. Uh, but for today's session, we're gonna give you these software tools in the format of the actual real estate investment process, right? So we're gonna start all the way with like market research, go through lead gen and pipeline management and deal analysis, all the way down to closing the deal and property management. And we're gonna give you the tools that we use along the way. So it's gonna be this natural flow and essentially this is a session on how to set up the infrastructure for your real estate business. So it's better than it sounds. It's not just a list of softwares, right? It's actually a setup session. So let's get to it. So first for market research, a lot of people overthink this one for most consumer investors that are buying rental properties, you know, one to 16 units. I start that research with, with Zillow. Honestly, I, you got to learn how to throw some filters on for property types, for market rents, for, uh, for sale prices and you just gotta look at listings and sales in a variety of markets around the country and see where there's stuff that looks like it could remotely fit your criteria. So Zillow or Redfin or whatever other like <clears throat> properties for sale online listing tool, surprisingly useful in this market research stage and very easy to use as well. Now, while you have that going, you're gonna want on a separate screen or a different window, but I prefer a separate screen altogether, you're going to want a rental property calculator open because you're going to run mock properties to see if they fit your criteria. Obviously, our legendary rental property calculator is the best one out there. And I say that pretty confidently because I didn't want to build it. I didn't even sell it for like a year and a half after I did build it. All the other ones out there just kind of sucked. Not because one calculator is that different than the other from the other with regard to how the information output is generated. It's like the use of it and the flow of it. It took way too long to get quick results out of all these other ones that are out there. So I made one where you plug in a few numbers and boom, 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 you can like qualify, move on to the next market, move on to the next deal. So you need a good calculator. And you know, I don't think you need CoStar. It's an expensive research tool. It's, oh, they own apartments.com. They, I think they own LoopNet as well. It's usually for commercial investors. You may make some use of PropStream while you're doing some market research and looking into property data and property taxes and last market sale dates and all that stuff. Um, it costs a little bit of money. I got a free trial in my bio if you want to get on it and just check it out. Just make sure you cancel it before the week or two weeks or whatever it is runs up. Um, I don't know if you need it for this market research stage for most people though. So Zillow and a rental property calculator gets it done. The next thing you're going to want to do is lead gen. You need software for lead generation and there's two phases of lead generation we want to talk about. The first is data. The second is outreach. So for data to get property owner data to actually market to, to pursue properties, you're going to want to hop on list source. That's my favorite one. It's a little expensive, but you could find discounts for list source access through different marketing companies that sell like direct mail and such too sometimes, right? If you have a relationship with them. So um, list source is awesome for pulling owner data and it's got pretty clean data, but sometimes list source is missing certain types of properties in certain markets. Like I noticed in Michigan, list source does not have multifamilies available for us to pull owner data to be able to market to in like any city in Michigan, right? So we've gone to PropStream to do that. That's the one that you can get that free trial of in my bio, but that kind of makes it worthwhile, right? Getting more data is, is great. 
And that's what we use PropStream for besides market research or uh, besides um, analyzing properties. Uh, but the data that comes out of PropStream is not as high quality as the data that comes out of list source. Sometimes it feels a little bit messy, but to get property owner data, list source, PropStream, those are the two things you need. Then for outreach, outreach is basically your marketing direct to these sellers. Now you could mail, and that's my preferred method of marketing. Now some people use phone-based marketing, right? So for phone-based marketing, you need to get phone numbers. I hear batch skip trace is really good for getting phone numbers in batches. None of these guys pay me, by the way. Um, except for PropStream, I get like an affiliate fee if you actually sign up and pay. But like, I'm not, I'm not like getting plugged up for plugging these guys in this session. Uh, batch skip trace is the the preferred place to get phone numbers in the real estate investing community in bulk for all these leads that you've gotten through List Source or PropStream. So you can reach out to them using either a dialer. People seem to like Batch Dialer or Mojo Dialer for cold calling. Um, a ringless voicemail. Now be careful of regulations with all the phone-based stuff. Make sure you understand what you're doing, who you're marketing to, and that you're not breaking any laws, right? Uh, a ringless voicemail, like Sly Broadcast is a good ringless voicemail software. And then some people text. You got to really mind the regulations with, with text too, right? Um, and a lot of these softwares will make sure that you are compliant before they allow you to use them. Uh, but for text, we use either like simple texting to reach out to people that are already like on our engaged list. They're pretty inexpensive. It's like one cent per text in bulk. Um, or for outbound marketing, we do hear of wholesalers using stuff like launch control, which is more expensive. Uh, I don't know what they do to kind of make the regulatory process a little bit more compliant, um, but I hear, I hear they're pretty good. Um, so for outbound text, launch control and simple texting for RVM, Sly Broadcast, um, dialers, Mojo and Batch Dialer, and then to skip trace the phone numbers in the first place, um, Batch Skip Trace is a popular one out there. Uh, the next stage is pipeline management. Now to manage your pipeline, you gotta have a place to actually take in the leads that call you, right? Uh, if you are getting a good amount of intake, getting a separate phone number that has a tag on it so you know what the lead source is is important. Um, we use a really simple software called Vumber and we literally just use the numbers that we buy through them for a couple bucks a month each uh, just to receive voicemails and to receive inbound calls and just know where they came from just to be able to source them, right? Uh, then you need a CRM. Now we use Salesforce to manage our whole pipeline, all the data, all the follow-up, all the information we collect on properties, our activity logs. That's too much for most real estate investors, especially if you're just getting started and you're just trying to get a marketing funnel going. Don't pay, don't pay for Salesforce. You don't need it. We have a whole organization. We like the controllability of Salesforce. Uh, you could use Podio and just build it out so that you make sure something like Podio, that it was free last time I used it. That was a long time ago. It's probably still free or cheap. Um, make sure your Podio, uh, whatever organization that you build, whatever term they use, uh, just has your lead set up so that you have a clear place to put last activities every time you make a call or make, make a point of contact with someone and a key next steps and then just property information and maybe like a next follow-up date or something like that, right? So Podio is probably the place to go for CRM for most real estate investors watching this video. Then you need some sort of phone system to call these people. You could just use your phone if you want. If you want to do it through your computer uh, and you want a little more control uh, over just separating your phone from your real estate business, Google Voice is cheap. Skype is really cheap, actually. They're just kind of a pain to set up. Ring Central is a little more official. You got a couple of employees, maybe that's useful. Our employees actually have Verizon phones. Um, so it is what it is. We just gave them all iPhones. We like spending money on our people. But just make sure you have some sort of dialer if you're not planning on using your personal phone to contact all these sellers and property owners and everybody else. Um, the next key stage, now pipeline management naturally comes before deal analysis. You go through your pipeline, you talk to people, you get deals, you gotta analyze them. And to analyze deals, it's this is another simple one that gets overcomplicated, right? You could do this for very, very cheap or free. Um, the legendary rental property calculator is an absolute necessity. Like This isn't even a plug. It's so worth it if you're going to be analyzing deals, the one that you can get through our store. Uh, or you can make your own rental property calculator. It's just a spreadsheet, guys. Just make sure it makes it easy for you to move quickly through these deals. Your time is more important than the actual metrics that come out. The metrics are easy to get right. Uh, Zillow, we use Zillow a bunch when we're analyzing deals for comps, rent comps, listings that are available in the area, just understanding what's going on with our property comparatively. Uh, county record sites can be a pain 
they 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 are well you they are where you will get information on property taxes, on recent sales history, on the property square footage, on zoning, on things like that. Uh, you just got to find each county record site for each market that you operate in, which isn't all that bad if you're only in a few markets. If not, you could just go to PropStream and you can, you know, it's, it's all kind of consolidated there. And it's a little easier to operate when you're doing your deal analysis, right? But really a calculator and Zillow and a county record site, that's all you need. Then you got to make the offer. And this is simple. Now you just need a digital signature, right? You don't want to have to deal with mail or someone delivering an offer or meeting with a seller every time just to sign a piece of paper. Um, get a digital signature software, a DocuSign's fine. I've got funny, um, we're still using an account. I used to work for a real estate software company before I started, while I was starting this business and I quit that company, I'm still buddies with the owners, um, and, and came on over here. And the day that I quit, before I left, I set myself up with um, <laughs> with an account for, because I was an account executive, so I had the admin access. I set myself up for digital signature access um, through them and I still have it. I think our team still uses it here. So one day they'll kick me off and we'll just pay for a DocuSign account, 30 or 40 bucks a month or something like that and we'll be all good. Uh, but you need a digital signature. For due diligence, now this isn't really your software, but this is a nice plus. Some inspection companies have 3D inspection walkthroughs they generate, kind of like the 3D walkthroughs you see on home listings, right? Um, a common franchise that always offers this or almost always offers this is called Pillar to Post. It's franchise, so I can't speak for every single one in every single city as far as their quality of inspection goes, but they've been pretty good to us and they generate these nice 3D walkthroughs, which for an out-of-state investor is excellent. I get to like physically fully see the property, right? Uh, that's my due diligence software. There's no real other software for due diligence that you need, I don't think. And then for closing the deal, this is an interesting but small pro tip. Call your bank and find a way to increase your wire limits through your online banking. Now, if you know the limits you need are particularly high, they might have to set you up with a treasury management account, a whole different portal, but it is worth it if you're closing deals because we close like four or five deals a week, six deals a week sometimes. I don't, I don't want to go to the bank and physically sit down in front of someone and initiate a wire every single time and oftentimes I have to set up an appointment and all that stuff. I could do it from my computer. I have higher wire limits. There's just a lot of like security stuff that goes into it, right? So that's worth setting up if you're actually doing deals and you don't want to go to the bank. And then for property management after you close, you shouldn't need any property management software because if you've been listening to me, you're not managing your own properties. You're letting someone else do that for you. But as far as managers go, I prefer managers that use either Appfolio or Buildium. Those are the two best softwares. It's not a deal breaker if they've got something else and they're a good company. Um, Appfolio is my preference over Buildium and I'll tell you why. Buildium is a more modular, more complex and more like, you know, more detailed management software. But most management companies are real meat and potatoes and they misuse it or they use it to kind of like sometimes cover up information on shit that they messed up and kind of be able to say, oh, sorry, it's just in the wrong place or you're just not pulling the right report or whatever it is. Appfolio is really straightforward. I prefer, I've always had a better experience with management companies that use Appfolio than with management companies that use Buildium. Let's put it that way. And then if you are getting a bunch of rental properties or you actually are flipping a bunch of deals or doing a good amount of wholesale or whatever it is, at that point, you might need a QuickBooks account, but for most people, you do not. So that's the entire software suite, I'll run through the steps, but I'm not gonna give you the softwares again. You need software for market research, lead gen, data and outreach, pipeline management, deal analysis, making offers, so digital signature there, uh, due diligence, closing the deal, and for property management. If you've got all that in place, if you've gotten everything in place that we discussed in this video, you're ready to go and do some deals. You've got a real estate investing business, at least the framework of it fully set up. Enjoy.